Tuesday, November 9th, 2021. Um, Representative Paul Gosar, a Republican from Arizona, um, did a dumb thing. Um, and of course, he's from Arizona. Um, Arizona is sort of proving to be like, um, you know, Florida's little sister. <laughs> um, just as fucked up, um, but just doesn't get as much attention as the older brother does because the older brother does it first and actually says, hey, look at me, look how crazy I am. And the younger sister's like, I don't need that attention. I'm gonna be just as crazy, but you're just gonna slip it in from the side. Um, so I don't know what is up with the warm weather states, but um, you know, you know what they say, it's not the heat, it's the stupidity. Um, so uh, yeah, Representative Gosar, who apparently thinks he's a dentist, um, tweeted out this bizarre anime that mash up with, um, you know, clips of military and, um, it, you know, just uh, um, Asian writing characters and, um, it it depicted him and I think Bobert and Marjorie Taylor Greene as like these heroes that attack what looks like a blonde version of AOC and then go you know flying up to the to President Biden with their swords blazing like um, it's uh, it's much more uh, violent and. Um, incendiary than um, Kathy Griffin holding up a mask with ketchup on it. And she endured like six to nine months of uh, investigation by the Secret Service and the FBI and um, just like hounded her. So I'd like to know if anybody's gonna do anything with um, Representative Gosar because that um, is not only, uh, you know, threatening the President of the United States, um, but it's also, you know, there's got to be some sort of statute that he's, um, uh, you know, disobeying as a sitting congressperson um, to take swords up against the president. I just, I, the imagery is awful. The, um, the, the messaging is awful. Um, his own sister has asked for the Department of Justice um, to uh, investigate and, and prosecute him um, based on what she says is his mental decline. Um, he's the same guy that his whole family, when he was running um, for this seat, came out and said, please don't vote for this guy. Um, he's deranged. And um, yeah, well, Arizona went for it. Um, so like, <sighs> You know, the GOP over the weekend was having a cow about Big Bird um, because Sesame Workshop put out, you know, a, <clears throat> a basically a PSA about getting vaccinated. Um, and, you know, they came after Big Bird's head, apparently wanting to cancel him for, uh, you know, promoting uh, community health and safety. Seems like a weird thing to want to cancel a, a puppet for, but. Um, this guy, you know, was part of the insurrection planning and um, is now tweeting out um, animated imagery of attacking the president with swords. They just seem to seem, seem to think that he's fine. Part of the team. Um, you know, not to mention the fact that 30% of Republicans feel that it is going to take violence to take the country away from the Democrats. The Democrats were actually trying to help them um, as opposed to lie to them and steal from them and, uh, you know, make their lives worse. But what are you going to do? Um, there's also, <laughs> this problem may take care of itself depending on how long, you know, we stay in this pandemic. Um, it's now reported that the COVID deaths in 
counties that voted for Trump are three times as high as the COVID deaths in counties that voted for Biden. So, you know, if they just keep um, mask and vaccine mandate protesting themselves to death, literally, maybe by the midterms, this has all become a moot point. <laughs>